Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? What are you doing on YouTube if you're not subscribed to Newsroom Nigeria? Please subscribe, like this video, also leave your opinions in the comment section below. Even if you don't do anything for this channel, please click on the like button. Click on the like button to show your support for this channel and to show us that you're liking the kind of content that we are putting out. Thank you very much. Governor Simina Layufubara of River State has declared that his administration will not surrender to bare-faced blackmail while committing to, to consolidating on the gains made in ensuring the peace, advancing good governance, delivering more critical projects, and sustaining the increase in the internally generated revenue, IGR, of the state. The governor who commended President Bola Tinubu for his bold, dynamic, and pragmatic economic reforms targeted at correcting the structural deformities of the past and ushering Nigeria into a new vista of sustainable economic growth and prosperity. Governor Fubara stated these on Tuesday during the 64th Nigerian Independence Day Anniversary Parade that, at the, that took place at the Government House Arcade in Port Harcourt. According to a statement issued by Nelson Chukudi, its press secretary, Fubara said 1st October in 1960 was historic with, with, with the first Prime Minister of Nigeria, Sir Abubakar Tafawa Baliwa, rising Nigerians' much cherished green white green flag to, signific to signify the independence and freedom gained from the British colonial rule. Thereafter, Governor Fubara noted that there has been historic sacrifices by founding fathers, other leaders, brave men and women who have made numerous achievements in sustaining freedom and promoting the unity of progress of Nigeria. He said, the vision of our founding fathers at independence was to build a united and secure nation anchored on the values of brotherhood, democracy, justice, and the e equality of all people, tribe, and nations. Our leaders past and present have kept on doing their best to keep the country together and advance the progress and well-being of the citizens. Despite those sacrifices, Governor Fubara said that Nigeria still tottered and amid diverse challenges, including widespread human insecurity, after 64 years of self-rule, Governor Fubara pointed to the prevailing economic hardship that has made life more difficult for most Nigerians and stressed. But despite the economic hardship and social heels bedeviling a nation and stifling its progress, we still have good reason to celebrate and be grateful to God as a nation and people. We are known all over the world as hard-working, confident, and happy people. We are known for our enormous natural and human resources and economic potential. We are also known for our rich cultural diversity, diversity a vibrant nation where different religions Languages and traditions coexist peacefully. Governor Fubara urged Nigerians to be thankful that God has endowed them with everything required to build a great nation where no one should ever be oppressed and where all should live in peace and plenty. The governor said, It is therefore important for Nigerians to keep faith with the vision of the founding leaders and do so by reaffirming their fidelity to one individual nation under God and pledge themselves to each other in freedom, peace, and justice. Let us also commit ourselves to work hand-in-hand hand with the federal government 
to tackle the economic, social and political challenges, including judicial terrorism, nepotism, corruption and abuse of power that have diminished our democracy, stifled our economic growth and caused untold hardship to our people. With an unyielding commitment to democracy, the rule of law and good governance and working together for the common interest, we can overcome all our challenges and prevail over the enemies of progress. Governor Fubara believes that it is only through the collective efforts of Nigerians that Nigeria can become the greatest black nation and reckoned as a global leader in human civilization so desired. The River State government commended President Bola Tinobu for being bold and determined to drive his economic reforms, which are targeted at correcting the structural deformities of the past. He explained, I urge fellow governors to redouble their efforts to fight the scourge of insecurity and banditry in the North and pipeline vandalism and oil theft in the Niger Delta region of the country for the ongoing economic reforms to bear the needed positive results. On our part, we assure the federal government and Mr. President of our, of our unalloyed loyalty and support from the government and good people of River State, and we affirm our commitment to the unity and progress of Nigeria as one indivisible nation who will continue to support and work with the federal government and the security agencies to advance the security and well-being of all citizens, protect national economic assets and guarantee the security and smooth operations of local, national and multinational companies and investments in our states. Governor Fubara assured that his administration will work assiduously to ensure the safety and security of lives and property, while guaranteeing equal social economic opportunity for all residents of River State. He expressed strong faith and strength in God, who only to be able to strengthen his administration to sustain efforts at promoting, protecting, and defending the political, social, and economic interests of River State at all costs. He added, I further assure you that we will never compromise on compromise on our commitment to delivering the dividends of democracy and good governance to the citizens of River State. We will complete the Potakot Ring Road, the Query Omohia Oga, Egbema, Undomi Link, Dual Carriageway, and all other ongoing road projects on schedule. We are giving considerable attention to education uh, with the rehabilitation of schools, provision of educational materials, implementation of 65-year teachers' retirement age, and approval for the recruitment of more teachers in line with the recommendations of the Needs Assessment Committee reports. Governor Fubara said remodeling, expansion, and construction work has progressed to level of completion on the zonal hospitals at Ahohada, Bori, Degema, Omoku, and the General Hospital at Boni. He also explained that work has started on the new General Hospital in Romuigbo community, with work on the new ultra modern Saitra Catrick Hospital also at Romo Igbo in Obiakpo local government area intensifying. Governor Fubara said, our efforts in healthcare manpower development have resulted in the full accreditation of a River State University teaching hospital for six special programs, including surgery, plastic reconstruction surgery, urology, radiodiagnosis, and orthopedics, from the West African College of Surgeon. You all, what are your thoughts? Let's have them in the comment section below. What do you all think? Subscribe to this channel, guys. If you haven't already done that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.